American democracy is uh, what we call a guided democracy in countries that we don't like, like Iran. So in Iran, uh, elections are uh, putting aside you know, questions of the credibility of elections. Elections are the candidates are vetted by the leadership, the clerical leadership, guardian council decides who can run. Okay, we're pretty much the same. Uh, here, candidates are vetted uh, by uh, corporate interests, and unless and the way it's done is that unless you have huge corporate financing and support, you just can't run. I mean, uh, Obama won over McCain primarily because the financial institutions liked him better, so poured money into his campaign much more than McCain. And if you check uh, funding and polls, you find that the advertising and so on, in fact, carried him over the uh, edge. Uh, and that's true all, all the way along. I mean, uh, elections are basically bought. Uh, Congress, for example, has very low ranking among the population. Uh, you know, it's in the teens sometimes. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the overwhelming majority of incumbents win. Well, what does that tell you? It tells you people are voting for uh, candidates that they don't like uh, because they don't have any choice. Uh, that's, uh, uh, th these are fundamental defects in the democratic system. Uh, it's a huge democratic deficit, as it's called, and it shows up. There's a very sharp division between public policy and uh, public attitudes on a host of major issues. Uh, in fact, both political parties are well to the right of the population on a great number of critical issues, and the population feels it can't do anything about it. Uh, so, for example, uh, last polls I saw about this, about 80% of the population uh, said the government doesn't work for the people, it works for a few big interests looking out for themselves. Well, that's 80% of the population. But if you had asked the next question, they didn't do it, well, what are you going to do about it? People probably would have said, well, I can't do anything. Uh, there's no way to do anything about the fact that the government's in the pockets of the rich uh, and a few big interests, corporate interests primarily. Uh, that feeling of uh, helplessness, uh, 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 impotence, you know, uh, everything's run by somebody else, I can't do anything about it, uh, that reflects a democratic deficit. Uh, these are enormous problems with the way the democratic system functions. I mean, there's something similar in most places, but the United States is pretty extreme in this regard uh, among the industrial democracies. Thank you.